hello friends so today we will learn about the extensions of hardy weinberg equilibrium if you have not watched my hardy weinberg equilibrium videos so you can check in the description box there will be two videos you can check that and in short if i have to tell you have you, you may remember that p plus q equal to 1 that is allele frequency and p square plus 2 p q plus q square equal to 1 that is genotypic frequency this was the sole idea of hardy weinberg equilibrium now if we are talking about the extension so it can be extend, extended to three points that is on multiple alleles of an autosomal gene it can be sex linked genes or it can be polyploidy so you know multiple allele that when more than two different forms of a gene of a given gene exist in a species then we are then we can call it as multiple allele so the big example you know the multiple alleles is our abo blood group you know that there are three alleles ia ib and small i for blood for the group of a that is either iaia or iai for b you know ibib or ibi for ab there can be only one iai iaib and for o that is i or you can write as double i a small i now what happened what happens is earlier it was two allele and two frequencies p and q so we write as p plus q equal to one now suppose there is another that is r so now we will write it as p plus q plus r equal to one if the population is in hardy weinberg equilibrium so simple earlier it was binomial now it is trinomial because there are another frequency that is r so in the same way p plus q plus r cross p plus q plus r into one into one so from here we will get the genotypic frequency plus 2 p q plus 2 q r plus 2 r p so this is you can see homozygous and these are the heterozygous frequencies if there are p q r s then it will be p plus q plus r plus s equal to 1 and then you have to square it to get the genotypic frequency and these are the allele frequency p q r s and genotypic frequencies are p square q square 2 p q 2 q r etc etc so let's have one problem to solve so in this problem we can see that the question is in a randomly mating large human population that means we can assume that it's in hardy weinberg equilibrium frequencies of ia ib i alleles small i alleles are 0 0.7 0 0.2 0 0.1 now calculate the expected frequencies for each blood type so 
expected frequencies of each blood type means they are asking about the xenotypic frequency because these are the allele frequency it's already given so let's assume p equal to 0.7 q equal to 0.2 r equal to 0.1 so p plus q plus r equal to 0.7 plus 0.2 plus 0.1 equal to 1 so it's in hardy weinberg equilibrium so now there are four blood types right a b a b and o for a it has to be i a i a or i a i for b it has to be i b i b or i b i or small i just write as small i that will be easier to understand a b it's i a i b and this is too small i so now let's see i a i a is p and i a is also p here is also p and small i is r so i a and i a what is p square i a and i i sorry i a and small i it's p r but i have told you remember the heterozygous will be not p r that is 2 p r right similarly i b i b i b you can check that the i b is q so q into q that is q square now our i b is q and i is r small i so again 2 into q r now i a is p for the a b and i b is q so again it is heterozygous so it will be 2 p q and this is r and r so it will be r square so for blood group a it is p square plus 2 pr p square means 0.7 square plus 2 cross 0 0.7 0 0.1 so it becomes 0.63 similarly for b that is q square plus 2 qr that is 0.2 whole square plus 2 into 0.21 that means 0.8 ab is 2 pq that is 2 into 0.7 into 0 0.2 0 0.28 and o is r square 0.1 square means point 